Well, when we built this building, uh, we got a lot of people who said, are you going to let us come up and see the view? Uh, are you going to build an observation deck? Uh, we knew there would be a tremendous demand for people who would want to come and, and take in the view. And rather than just have an observation deck, we said, let's just build a quality restaurant, a quality banquet wedding reception place where people can come any day uh, and enjoy the view. And that's what we built. You know, we don't have mountains and, and, and oceans to look at, but we do have the Great Plains and sunrises and sunsets. And people just enjoy big, expansive views. That, that's human nature. We all go to places around the, the country where you have these sort of expansive views. And we wanted this building to enhance uh, the community. Uh, we wanted it to be a, a part of the community and something that everyone in the community can enjoy, which is why we opened the top two floors to the public. One of the concepts that we wanted in this building was to have the definition between the public part and the private part as seamless as you can make it. And so we're in a public hallway. This will be open to the public whenever the building's open. So you can come in from the street, walk to the, the vast restaurant right through here. And this reflecting pool really is both a, a beautiful feature, but it also separates the public from the private. That's behind our security. Mm -hmm. This is a, is a typical floor. They're all basically designed exactly the same way. And one of the interesting things you'll see is there are no long, narrow hallways that are enclosed. Uh, each hallway has at the end of it an open window, uh, not reserved for someone's private office, but an open window. All of the windows, all of the offices have glass on each side so that light flows into the so, uh, inside of the building so that anyone who has an interior office still can see light uh, directly outside. It's a fairly unique design uh, that, that really masquerades the fact how big this building is because you don't see the long hallways and you get lots of light everywhere you look. This, as you can tell, is the auditorium. Uh, it's rather unusual for an auditorium because it has a solid glass wall. Uh, we're all used to auditoriums being totally enclosed uh, boxes that are fairly dull and, and unexciting. We saw this uh, in an auditorium in the New York Times building in New York City and built this all glass wall that faces uh, our tower in the park across the street. Uh, gives it an entirely different ambiance than a typical uh, auditorium. 285 people. Sit here. This is what it looks like, uh, a fitness center uh, that has been well attended by employees. It's absolutely full during lunch hour, almost full before uh, work and after work. Uh, a lot of activity here. And it's not just a dumb iron. We, it's run by Cooper Clinic, uh, the medical center out of Dallas, so that there's an entire fitness program, biometric screening that we go through, sit down and work out an individual program for each employee to accomplish whatever their health goals are, and to point out to them what some of their health goals should be. Uh, so it's been well attended, well received by the employees. It's really operating at, at capacity. We call these our treehouse conference rooms because they look out over our own garden and over the Mary Garden, uh, and you get to be in a conference room that's not just surrounded by four walls. And again, as you've seen throughout this building, rather than an enclosed cafeteria down in the basement, which so many corporate uh, cafeterias are, this one has this glass wall that goes a little over a block long that lets you eat both inside or outside uh, in our garden depending upon the weather.